Health officials calling for renewed caution as COVID hospitalizations continue to rise. The latest numbers show the rates fueled by the highly contagious Omicron have tripled in just a month. And since March, new infections have jumped from 600 a day to nearly 25. Hundred. Joining us now, Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine, who has been pushing for the city to be better prepared. Mark, good to have you on. Thank you, Laurie. So two days ago, the city moved to this medium risk level. Health experts saying that testing is really key to keeping the numbers low. Do you think we're going to start seeing these numbers rise again? And are people going to continue getting tested? Well, the numbers are rising, and we saw a new variant make its debut upstate which is even more contagious than Omicron and it now seems to be spreading in New York City. And that's probably one of the biggest reasons why cases are rising now. Look, this isn't cause for panic, Lori, because we do have new tools at our disposal, including uh, new treatments like Paxlovid that we didn't have even during the Omicron wave. But we do want people to be cautious. Uh, what's out there is extremely contagious and we want people to still get tested. If you have any symptoms at all, get tested. If you have traveled or been in a large social gathering or been exposed to someone who has it, get tested. The best reason to do that mm. is so that a doctor can get you these new antiviral treatments, which didn't exist or weren't plentiful enough, even in the Omicron wave. Okay, so one of our viewers tweeting me that for me to ask you why the city has rolled back indoor vaccine mandates just as infection rates are spiking again while simultaneously courting tourism, saying it's a recipe for disaster. What do you think? Well, I might have been a little bit slower at the pace of uh, lifting that program, the Keto NYC, that screen for vaccine in restaurants. I think it was very popular with customers. But in, in, in fairness, it was done when, when we really we weren't a law post Omicron. Um, we're not anymore. And look, those kind of measures need to be on the table. If, particularly if hospitalizations start to rise a lot, they're, they're creeping up now, but still fairly low. Uh, but as for tourism, look, we need the tourism for the city's economy. And I think the solution is not to stop travel. It's just to ensure people are prepared by ensuring they have not just the vaccination, but by their by having their booster shot, by ensuring people have everything they need at home, tests, uh, digital thermometers, pulse oximeters, high quality masks. Right. Uh, these, these are things that we're pushing for. We want the city to do more to help people protect themselves now. Okay, so the city's health department also stressing us to return to masks in public indoor spaces and in schools. Should schools, in your opinion, bring back the mask mandate? Well, students, uh, I think, should be strongly encouraged to wear masks. Uh, I think, look, the return to mask mandates is, is on the table if this gets worse. Uh, again, I think we need to watch hospitalizations. Um, at, at the moment, I think we just need to push recommendations harder and make high quality masks more readily available everywhere in school buildings, in all buildings. It should be as plentiful as soap or toilet paper are in any building that you go into. It's not now. I'm talking about high quality masks, KF94 or better. That's one of the easiest things we could do to improve masking in New York City. All right. Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine joining us tonight. Always good to have you on. Thanks, Lori. Okay.